politics, uh, family, personal life, my emotions, uh, my job, they're all part of a single unity. In that respect, uh, I regard myself uh, as an anarchist, although I don't endorse necessarily all aspects of anarchism, but uh, I'm not an anarchist just at weekends. I'm anarchist from from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, from the beginning of my life to the end of my life. Uh, my view is when you see injustice, you fight against injustice, whatever the consequences of that there are, because uh, we are not really fighting just for us. We are fighting for our students and we are fighting for future generations. When you see injustice, you have to respond. You don't make a calculations and say, oh, is that going to work out or it isn't, okay? You just respond because injustice is not acceptable. Not the university, but a group of people who manage the university decided to close our department. Um, just to put things, uh, to make things clear, the Department of Archaeology in Sheffield is one of the best known departments of archaeology in the world. My name is Umberto Alvarella um, and I am a zoo archaeologist. I study animal remains from archaeological sites. Uh, so I want to understand how human and animals interacted in the past. You know, I have been so frustrated sometimes about uh, the uh, competition and the toxicity that uh, seem to have become endemic uh, in much of the uh, academic environment. And I have always thought it doesn't have to be like that. It can be different. And I want to demonstrate that it can be different. So my name is Lenny Salvagno. I am Italian and I am a zoo archaeologist. My colleagues in Italy all told me, well, you have to contact this very nice guy in Sheffield. His name is Umberto. Uh, and he's very nice because he just helps anyone without you know, wanting anything in return. He's just a very nice guy. So I got in contact with Umberto. As soon as I arrived, he introduced me to all the colleagues and the group, and that was the most amazing thing, because I soon realized that he created like a family. So we are all friends. <laughs> Sorry. I just felt I was in the right place. It's very difficult to find an environment like this in universities, in institutions. And I just felt like I was in the right place, full of nice, friendly people from which you can learn. And I've been here for 10 years, I think. So it's hard to accept that they want to throw everything in the bin for stupid reasons, which don't make any sense. I'm now the secretary of the International Council of Archaeozoology, and I've been trying to get an answer from what they call the implementation group as to how they are going about their decision-making, and I've, it's been quite frustrating getting any answers out of them. We've been told we've got a year guaranteed, um, which isn't really Reassuring, I'm a first year student. My PhD course is for four years, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen um, for the second, third, and fourth year. Where will I be? Be nice to know, be nice to have some um, assurances. If I had to choose one aspect, one um, part of the department that uh, is closest to my heart, it would be if I had to choose one inanimate thing that would be closest to my heart in the department, that would be the faunal reference collection. It's the single thing that I have spent the most time on during my uh, 
all these years in Sheffield. Because in order to obviously identify small fragments of bone, you need the complete bone to compare with. And the good thing is that it's open to anyone. So if a member of the public finds a bone in his garden and wants to come and ask us to identify it, we are open and happy to help. Our ethos is to be open to anyone and to help anyone. We have kept a strict ethical lines while uh, expanding our collection. Put simply, no animal has ever been killed specifically to become part of this collection. We have uh, uh, many worldwide renowned collections in terms of animal bones, human bones, uh, um, pottery, um, metals, uh, archaeobotany. Um, we have a lot of researchers that come to, to use our reference collections. Uh, the reference collections are there for students to be used, so we call them also teaching reference collections, and they are used during our uh, classes. Our classes are very hands-on, they are very practical, and that's one of our strengths as well. I think you can be happy with your learning. I think that's one of the points, it's just, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm not so interested in the assessment, it's just a way to assess you. But it's a good way for you to figure out where you are, okay? And, uh, and then say, okay, think about where you were five weeks ago and where you are now. And I think that, 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 that uh, there is very good reason for feeling positive. Hey, everything okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. This is the, my old one at that time yeah, I made. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think it could be recycled for the occasion. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, yeah, Claudia, <laughs> thanks for coming. That's great. Good to have those students here. Yeah. I actually come from Italy, which is a country where culture is defended a lot so I know what it means and that's also why I moved to this country and that's why I chose Sheffield because the archaeology department is so amazing I came from like all the way from another country to study here. Sheffield has 30 years of excellence in the field of archaeology and it, it's world-renowned a lot of the leads in archaeology graduated from Sheffield or have some kind of ties to Sheffield. As soon as they decided um, to close the department, we put up this petition, a student did actually. Can't remember how many signatures, but like astonishing amount in a day. We got something like 40,000 signatures to uh, the petition we raised. Thousands and thousands of letters of support for us, you know, telling them, please reconsider, don't close the department. 47,000 names, I mean, that is incredible. 47,000 names, so people who, don't agree with what's happening with the department. So this campaign was the combination between work made by the staff of the department, students, the union, people from Sheffield, literally every, everybody chip in. People you who know me know that I don't prepare my speeches. I just wanted to talk through my heart. And because this is a very emotional moment for many of us, and in many different ways. So it's so wonderful to see so many beautiful people gather here. Thank you very much for coming. The whole world has been up in arms to protest against the closure of our department. And I think we have done our bit to push that particular situation. Thank you for being here. You are beautiful people. Please respond to injustice all the time. Don't make calculations about what is going to be the outcome. Because eventually, history will prove that we have been right. So keep fighting, keep holding the line, and keep being here. Thank you very much. The best thing that can happen is our fight. Our fight against this decision is not um, something that to do, we are doing in order to reach an objective. It's an objective in itself. Fighting every day is uh, very much the purpose of our life. Uh, so we are fighting this because we want to live in a better world. 
Are we going to win our battle or are we going to lose our battle? I'm, I have very little interest in this question because we win it every day. We win it every day by opposing such decision, and by opposing such uh, uh, blind choices that are driven by personal interests. Obviously, for the benefit of the students and the staff and for the benefit of the discipline, our hope is that uh, at the end of the day, these people will realize that the mistake that they have made is too big not to be noticed. I think archaeology helps the society as a whole uh, because archaeology is a field that uh, tries to understand who we are as humans at a time when uh, we have uh, a global crisis that is uh, putting the, the future of humanity in danger. To understand who we are is absolutely essential. And I have been lucky to meet some wonderful people. And uh, these people have made my life better, and uh, they have made uh, the life of the university better, and they have made uh, the life of many students who come here better. We have supported each other, and uh, we have worked as a team, and there have been so many great, fantastic moments. We have laughed together, we have cried together, and we will carry on doing that. So I regard myself for whatever the university management does, uh, however toxic the university environment has become. I regard myself as an incredibly lucky person who, who can smile every day for the good that the people around me have helped me to do.